Hey everyone, Vikram here. I'm here with Stolaris with the Kerbal Space Program. And things are going pretty pretty well for us. We uh kind of over the force limit. And in fact, we may want to do something about that if we can't do naval capacity increase before too long. Cause there's no real point in doing that. So this thing, even though it's more advanced, it's Yeah, it's just these these tend to die pretty quick, so I will disband these. Yeah, that should help the income a little bit. So let's let whoop, What do we got here? Got some Ancient mining drones. So we shall let's go to the ship designer and go ahead and upgrade this thing. So let's throw a fusion missile on there. Hey, why don't we give it kind of a, a varied loadout? Should be able to engage at all ranges. Yeah, unfortunately, that's gonna force us to put more reactors in. I think I like that. That should be able to engage at every single range. That's gonna be a lot of minerals to upgrade the fleet. Holy cow. Single badly scorched module is all that's left of a Cybrex research station. Situation log updated. Okay, what can you do now? We haven't surveyed here? Really? So, is it going to make me like... Alright, there we go. Research complete. Fleet Academy. So, if you build this, it does it... Help everything? Oh, that's a module. That's really strange. Why would you put a module, an academy as a module? Interesting. I'm getting robots just because the Kerbals are weak and we need better armies. I think it's time for destroyer research. Okay. Build a research station there. Oops, unused building? In Jebediah? Oh yeah, because somebody migrated. I'm gonna pop you there and upgrade that. System survey complete. Anomaly found. System survey complete. Oh no, he's leaving too. People are not liking this planet. Many moons circling Advatar 2 as a terminal orbit. It will soon collide with the gas giant. It should become a massive impact event. It's been millions of years in the making. It's just a startling coincidence. The impact has been fated to occur just after a visit by one of our ships. Narrow window. Alright, we have a very capable fleet now. So, 
Was there anywhere that we wanted to go? That was blocked. I think it was... Yeah, there is some there. Send forth the fleet. And in fact, probably time to go ahead and make another colony ship. Crystalline Entity. Go ahead and build a research station. No, go here. Here we go. Special project complete. Found it has revealed that the machine consciousness was experimenting with cybernetic life forms. Hundreds of unfortunate prisoners were transported to the facility. Exact objective remains unclear. Okay. Ooh, that is a nice planet right there. And there's a continental word. This has got to be where we go next. That's just too good to pass up. Size 15, pretty good stuff. I am quite okay with that. And that should hopefully Special squeeze project. some things together here. Evading hostile fleet. Okay, we've got, yeah, some guys there. Hostile fleet engaged. Got the torpedoes and the missiles and the lasers. Let our shields recharge. Although if we lose some ships, it's not going to be the end of the world. I'm going to take you. Got some real good evasion. Situation log updated. Uh, why don't you go see what's up there? I bet. I have a feeling these guys may be in there. I don't know. We'll have quite the debris cache here. Okay, we have not.
That should be good for us. This planet is thriving because everyone wants to wants to come live here. Start building some buildings for them to use. Torpedoes away. Oh, nice. Uh, reactors for sure. We definitely need that. And yeah, I want that. So we did research uplift. So how do you do that exactly? This is the wiki here. <laughs> Two types of pre-FTL species, primitive civilization and pre-sentient species. Primitive civilization so have yet to develop a technology necessary for space travel. Pre-industrial and industrial. Pre-sentient species shows particular promise that would likely evolve some manner of intelligence. Okay. Spacefaring empire that has discovered a primitive civilization can deal with it in a number of different ways. Native interference policy must be active. Starts a one-time event choice on how to deal with them. Planet can no longer be colonized, but can be conquered using military forces instead. Primitive can also be a source of cheap labor once enslaved. Construction of hidden observatory. Okay, so... As opposed to primitives, planets of pre-sentient species can be colonized and offer several different event chains. Pre-sentient pop will start growing after colonization, being worked or built on without giving any direct bonus. Planet needs to be within your direct borders, but does not have to be colonized. Stone Age primitives, they appear as modifiers on the planet. The policy for native interference is not unrestricted. Then the Empire will be unable to colonize the planets. Stone Age primitives can develop to Bronze Age primitives over time. Research or miner station over the planet. Star system yields will change the map. Okay, well. <laughs> I'm not sure. 
I guess we probably won't be able to do that because of our xenophileness. Hold up, no. From what I understand, that must must be the case. But if they develop to the Bronze Age, then we can go ahead and observe them. Pretty sure uplifting is okay, or enlightening. Okay, excellent. So, now we can go ahead and research all this debris. That should give us... Oh, did some of this expire? Hmm, maybe it combined or something. Okay, so... It looks like this is going to be the place to go. And I'm going to go here. We're not going to be able to get all of the adjacency bonus as usual, but that will give us the, the ability to uh, have a quicker growth rate at first, and it will give us bonus for the three mineral slot, which will be very good. Yeah, nobody's using that building. Unfortunately. It's going to cause us a little bit of trouble. So let's... Let's do that. For now. And we will upgrade you. Upgrade you. do that and for sure we are running out of space but that's okay can't clear that yet, but I can clear this. Okay, you guys. Yeah, I don't know that we've had the resources just yet. some more stuff. System survey complete. Is that level two? Okay. Build a power hub and a power plant there. Upgrade that. Construction complete. Probably not going to need much more food. So we'll probably block those with something else. Ooh, what is this? Careful reproductive planning should be incentivized lest we waste valuable genetic legacies. 
Huh. Oh, that's a policy. Less useful than... Yeah, let's, let's increase naval capacity, that makes sense. All right. And this planet is now being colonized. How many can we have? Three of five. That's fine. Um, yeah, go ahead and s survey there, I guess. Anomaly found. All right. What next? I'm thinking that. I'm gonna build a spaceport at that at that planet. Ancient frozen remains of an almost thousand of almost a thousand aliens have been found. A dozen different species. Corpses of roughly six hundred thousand years around the time of Cybrex machine consciousness. Situation Ooh. You can go ahead and do that next. And that is now clearable. Do you have any of these dense jungles here? Everything is clearable here. I think I want that to be cleared. Ooh, and that, that's, that'll be nice. Three mineral, naturally. Very good. Research complete. Excellent. Edic monolithic Kimithart one. Uninhabited indeed uninhabitable, but not unvisited. Surface littered with tall cenotaphs carved from some mineral not native to the planet. Testically inclined spacefaring race. Chart of history is so fantastical it must surely be fictional, surely. Wait, did I lose that? Oh no, stored research. Yes, yes. See about getting you a governor. Anomaly found. Whoops. That's okay. Let's do that. Nice, oh, that's so cheap. System survey complete. Uh, we may want to build one more farm. Just so that planet keeps growing.
Mineral processing plant gives us plus 10% minerals. Not a whole lot of minerals yet. I think I'm going to do that. Upgrade you to engineering facility. Might as well do that. I think I'm going to leave you be for now. Uh, no, let's build something with our ship. I'm going to send you to this place. And engage those guys. Oh. Ooh. Abysmal horde. Whoa. That is quite the uh, fleet there. Okay. Go there then. Picked up what appears to be a large ship deep inside the atmosphere. Situation. Good enough. Good enough. Well, the Kerbals are doing quite well, I think. Got a fourth planet. And they're all pretty good, I think. What shall we do? Uh, I think let's upgrade the missiles. That sounds like a good idea. But anyway, that's all we have time for today. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next episode.